Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today I'll be doing an unboxing and just an overview of this light. This is the Amaron 200 XS. This is the second iteration of this light. Uh, the first iteration was the 200 X, but this one there added a little bit more technology into it basically before I get into the unboxing I just wanted to introduce myself my name is Denny and I am a filmmaker cinematographer here in Kingston Jamaica and uh, I've been doing cinematography for a while now and on this channel we talk about filmmaking tips tricks and cinematography tips and tricks to help you become a better filmmaker and we also do gear reviews like today i'm gonna do an unboxing of this light and just to give you an overview of the light but also stick around to the end of the video to find out who i think this light is for because it may not be for everyone but it may be for you all right so let's get into the unboxing So this is the box that it comes in, obviously. One thing I do want to point out about this light and the, and the box that it comes in, it's not one of those lights that come with a carrying case. And so you don't have a case for this when, it, when you purchase the light. So you may want to find like an alternative case for, the, for this light. And they do sell some on Amazon. I can link uh, that in the description below. And also, before I move on, I do want you to know that links that are found in the description below will be affiliate links. And so if you make a purchase, I will get a kickback and that helps my channel to make more purchases um, like these so that I can do reviews and overviews so that you can make better informed purchases of film gear i've wasted a lot of money over the past couple of years buying gear that i never necessarily needed and so i wanted to use this platform to help others to make better decisions so yes uh consider um just clicking the link and making a purchase uh if you feel so moved so yeah back to the unboxing so this light can be used with this aperture Cytos Link app uh, that's available on in the Apple Store. I think it's on Android as well. I'm not 100% sure. I don't own any Android products, but uh, you get a uh, you know Cytos Link manual, and you get Aperture stickers that come in the box. You, let me just show you guys tilt this so that you can have a view of it. You also get service warranty. You just fill this out. You know what I mean? All right. And then the light itself. Basically, I'm just take out this first. So it comes with the power brick, and this is a. I mean, this is a pretty lengthy cable to some degree. Um, maybe about five meters long, and then. You get the uh, extension part of that power brick, the, the part that goes into the wall. Um, you know, I live in Jamaica, so this is the type of three prong um, that we use here. And basically this just goes into this and then you have one long, one long uh, power cable that goes to the light. And then we have the light itself. Yo, this, the foam, the, the foam case that the light comes in is very form-fitting. <laughs> a very form-fitting um, case. S something to protect the outer ring of the light. And then we have the light itself. And it's a pretty simple design, as you can see. Um, the buttons are on the back. You have a CCT uh, button and an intensity button and a Bluetooth or Bluetooth reset button. And then you have the power switch to turn it on and off. What I do like about this light, it's, it's pretty much built nicely. It's not the best constructed light, but it's good plastic. And if you treat it well, then it shouldn't break. But <clears throat> uh, yeah, there's a lever at the top here that you use to basically 
unlock your Boeing's mount accessories. And if you don't know, this is a Boeing's mount light, so it will take any accessories that are Boeing's mount. And this is to protect the LED chip that is here. This is a chip on board slash COB, you know, um, light. And then you have a fan at the top or at the bottom of the light that helps with the dissipation of heat. And then basically this lever right here, which is a locking lever that allows you to lock this part in place, which goes on to your light stand. Before I forget, this light is a 200X, which you know by now, which means that the light is bicolor. And what that means is it has a CCT range of about 2700 to about 6500 Kelvin. What that means is you can go from a warmer tone light to a daylight balance and beyond, a little bit beyond daylight balance. Yeah, it's awesome, awesome light. The other thing that comes in the box is this reflector. And it's the, I think they call it a hyper reflector. So basically it has some ridges in it or whatever you want to call those that help to intensify the light output of the light so basically without this the light won't be as bright um, as it would be with it so that's a cool feature and yeah that's pretty much what comes in the box now so, who do I think this light is for? Or before I get there, why did I buy this light in the first place? So, one of the deciding factors for this was the price. For price to output ratio, it, it's a very good value uh, light for what you get. And as a working cinematographer and somebody who likes to create content for YouTube, I wanted a light that can, you know, right now I'm using a Forza 500 watt and it's plenty, more than enough light. It's at 44% right now. And it's double diffused with a grid, <laughs> you know. So for me, I wanted a light that can do both daylight and tungsten light. So warm light and white light. And, you know, have a good range in between because sometimes I'm in situations where I want to use a warmer light and so this light will give me that flexibility and then I can match it to existing light fixtures in different spaces and so definitely definitely love this light so that was one reason the price to value um, was good for me you know I think this light cost about $350 uh, I'll put the current um, price on screen for this light and yeah the other thing that I, I liked about it was it's small so it can go in small spaces and it's not that heavy so you could put this on the end of a C stand and with a softbox or a china ball and it will hold I've done that before with somebody else's um, unit and yeah it works pretty pretty well you know the quality of the light too is the second thing I, I love about this light the quality of the light is really really good um, it renders skin tone really well as well the third and I think the final thing I love about this light is the fact that it has an app so to be able to use this with you know Aperture's Silas Link app I can connect this you know anywhere um, I can put this up on a light stand, on a C stand and boom it way up or overhead. Can use it as a backlight or a key light um, to light a, a dinner scene or something. And if it's not in reach, I can use the Silas Link app to connect to the light and then basically turn up the intensity or turn it down or even change the color temperature of the light on the fly. That's one added benefit that I really, really love about this light. Some of the other lights that I have don't have an app, and so I wish that it did. However, this one does. So, love that. All right, so who do I think this light is for? So, if you're a content creator, 
and you are a working filmmaker, maybe you do documentaries or you shoot music videos or make short films for yourself, right? I think this light is really great for independent filmmakers who want to have a light in their kit that is very versatile and has a lot of output. You won't necessarily compete with daylight, you know, use it, you won't be able to use this in broad daylight with a diffusion in front of it and expect to expose or overpower or even compete with the sun. This is not that. This is for people who maybe, you know, like me, have a little YouTube setup here at home or, as I said, is an independent filmmaker and need a versatile light that can offer you um, tungsten and daylight. You can use this for interviews in inside, you know, even in the daytime. You, should, you could be able to, you may be able to use this as a key light and expose your subject if you're doing a documentary or an interview. Um, you know, it's perfect for run and gun filmmaking because it's so, it's such a small package. And uh, yeah, I think that's who this light is for. If you're looking for a light that is versatile, that can give you tungsten and daylight, and you primarily create content, and maybe you have, you're a videographer and you have clients, maybe you, maybe you do weddings, this would be perfect for like a reception setting. Um, it gives you so much output. It could fill, um, it could fill a bright area. It's, it's a bright light. It's really a bright light. And so I think this would be perfect for you guys if it is that that's what you're looking for. So, hey man, let me know. Oh, there's one thing that I did want to point out too. The light has a umbrella holder right here. So if it is that you have any umbrella style of modifiers, then you can put it in front of this. So if you are a photographer, photographers can also use this light. If you do continuous light uh, photography, this would be great for you. Um, so you can put a umbrella into this, uh, into this section here, and then you can, you know, use it for, uh, diffusion and, uh, just a good modifier, you know, so you get the benefit of having a points mount and you can add an umbrella using this mount here. So yeah. I think that's it. I think that's it. So if you want to purchase this light, feel free to use my affiliate link down below um, in the comments, well, not the comment section, but in the description. And if you've gotten any value from this video, please let me know. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Let me know if you already picked up this light and what is your experience with this light. If there's any wonkiness that happens, let me know. Um, it's not the first time I'm using it, so I've had good experiences with the first gen of this light. But let me know what your experiences are and let me know if you'd pick this light up. And let me know also what use cases that you would use this light in. So that's it for me today, guys. If you've gained any value or if you had anything to say, just let me know in the comments. I will respond and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Give thanks. Thank you.